Hi, my name is Marcel. I'm a service tech for Prinov in Germany. And today we are doing a training for NED and all the mechanics. And I explained them today the function of the Raptor 200 with the head of an M450S. For the, for the engine and the dipstick, you will find it here, the engine dipstick. Here we have the engine, the engine oil filler. For our pump divider or splitter gearbox, you have the dipstick right here. Um, the whole filter set with uh, engine oil, the main fuel filter, the diesel water separator. That's our fine hydraulic oil filter uh, with an electronic sensor. Here we have the uh, high pressure hydraulic oil filter. Um, the hydraulic oil tank with uh, min and maximum level. Here we have the uh, fuel filler. We have two ECUs. The RC28 is our machine component uh, ECU, especially for the software for driving and working functions. And here we have the, e uh, the engine ECM. Um, the control block is installed right here with uh, several different functions. Those are the uh, optional uh, floating sensors for the floating control. This machine is equipped with a park heater or water heater to, for colder conditions to preheat the coolant, the engine coolant. We have a drive pump for the right track. We have a drive pump for the left track. In the bottom, down there, we have the mulching pump for the rotor. In front of uh, the first gear pump is for the working functions, for the control block, for the head. And at the end, the gear pump is for the hydraulic fan. So, um, the air intake is equipped with a Venturi system. And here we have um, a Donaldson air filter system with a main element and a safety element. The whole DEF unit, um, the DEF tank with the heating system, um, the tank unit, which is um, uh, the pump unit, sorry, um, with standard preheated lines. Um, here on the cooler package, that is the uh, condenser of the AC. Behind the condenser, we have the, uh, the coolant radiator. Here's the intercooler for the charged air. And here's the radiator or cooler for the diesel fuel. Here we have the hydraulic, uh, hydraulic oil cooler. Um, it's reversible. Around here we have the electronic. So here exhaust, we have the two 12 volt batteries which uh, creates a 24 volt system. Here are the main fuses. Um, for example, alternator, supply voltage uh, for the preheat, preheat relay for the glow blocks and as well, um, especially for if, if, it, if it's needed for jump starting, um, positive and negative. And here we have the, the pump to tilt the cap. We have the uh, <clears throat> fuel tank with a capacity of around 280 liters of uh, diesel fuel. 
Here you get an, a view to the whole hydraulic components, uh, all the pumps. In front of you see the bulkhead wall with all the connections for the hydraulic functions, especially uh, for the lift frame, top link, uh, the flap and the push bar. And as well here is the connection block with a high pressure relief valve for the um, moisture head, which means high pressure and return oil. Um, this cylinder, especially for um, to tilt the cap and for maintenance reasons or just to work on whatever, maybe you need access to get on the um, level sensor of the uh, fuel tank. As well, we see here the connections for the heating, the coolant, coolant lines for, for the heater. Here we have the two lines, high pressure and low pressure for the AC. And here as well, we have the valve to, to lock the um, coolant, coolant line, which runs to the heater inside of the cap. So in hotter conditions, you can close it and you have a higher performance of the AC. On that side, we have um, the whole electric goes there in and comes there out. We have two connectors there, two main connectors. And this line especially is uh, compressed air supply for um, the windshield, uh, to, to the windshield nozzles, the air nozzles on the windshield. The M450 head with a working width of 1900 millimeters is equipped with uh, ECS tools, um, what means bite control system. Um, there is also the possibility to use UPTS tools with uh, carbides, um, especially here. It is equipped with an 100 uh, with an hydraulic motor with 170 ccm displacement. The pulleys and the belts are um, cock belts. And it's also equipped with a rotor sensor to see the, the rotor RPMs in the display. We need it for some uh, modes and functions for the load, load limit, which uh, makes it easier for the operator. In that case that the system recognizes load on the engine and reduces by the time the speed of the tracks. again everybody John Flournoy here with National Equipment Dealers Forestry Mulching Division I'm the forestry mulching specialist one of them with the company I want to talk a little bit about this new Raptor 200 uh, it's a new version that's come out recently it's a hydraulically driven version versus a mechanically driven version um, finding that has uh, some advantages over the PTO drive systems they had before um, I've had a little bit of an opportunity to, to walk around and work with this machine just a little bit and there's some features on it that I want to point out specifically. One, uh, which you might have saw in one of my previous constant contacts, is I've been for years asking for and wanting to have a brush guard that goes all the way to the ground with teeth on it so that you can pull material out or a log that's in your way or if you're in like a utility right away situation where you cannot approach a utility pole within 10 feet with a mulcher head running you can turn the mulcher head off and you can go pull that stuff away from the pole get it outside the 10 foot range fire the head back up and, and grind the material saving a lot of hand work if that's allowed on whatever particular right away you're working on so this machine can do that 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 brush guard goes all the way to the ground you can drag things around with it it's really really nice i really like that obviously uh, other features about this thing is the lift frame on this uh, head where you pick the head up and down the lift frame is made out of one inch plate steel it's super stout uh, i don't know how other machines are in the industry but this is a super stout lift frame on it so you should never have any issues with that uh, the ground pressure this thing is uh, 4.69 with a mulching head on it, so it's really light ground pressure. It's got a 500 millimeter track system on it. You can put a, I think it's a 700 millimeter track system on it. 
wider tracks. They only come with single grousers like we see here. The other thing I really love about this machine is it's very much built like the Raptor 500, which is one of my favorite machines and one of the toughest machines I have out there. You know, we have mulches, the CMI 175, Raptor 500. This machine, the frame is, this is a uniframe construction, so that means that the whole uh, upper body of the machine and the undercarriage are all one weldment. So there's not a lot of things to come apart or crack or go bad on it. So that, that unibody construction, and it makes this machine a lot tougher. Uh, also, it's a really heavy gauge metal that it's made from. So my impression of this machine is it's gonna be very strong and very, uh, very tough, very durable. Uh, the M450 head on is a proven, absolutely highly productive head. You got 170 cc motor on that. You're turning it at about 2,400 RPM. It's got the control bite rotor, so you have blades or you have uh, uh, triple tip carbide knives. You can mix them or you can run either or on the machine. A lot of my customers that have those heads are running in rock. They'll switch to the carbides while they're running in rock. Get big trees and stuff they got to take out of the way or just brush and dirt and they'll put the, put the blades on for faster production. Okay, some of the other features that I like about this machine, if you look up on top, you'll find that we have a Venturi system uh, air pre-cleaner. That'd be, I think they used to call them Cyclone pre-cleaner. Really is good about separating the dust and the dirt and the heavier debris out before it goes down into the air filters. It's got a 20,000 pound winch uh, on the back and it also has a really, really heavy chain curtain, a lot heavier than we used to have and that really is a plus for keeping material from flying out from the back of this machine. Also, they've outfitted this machine where the mirrors normally are, where an old person like me likes to have mirrors, they actually have cameras. They're recessed, they're very heavy duty cameras. You can adjust the angle of the camera. So that camera gives you a view of the whole side of the machine, basically whatever's out to about 12 feet from you and where the tracks are on the machine. And that's all on the, con that's all on the uh, display inside the cab. So. I think if you get used to it, you'll like it. Uh, I might want to have my mirrors back, but I think if you get used to it, you'll like it. I'm told they're adjustable. You can pull the plate out and you can adjust the camera angle to get whatever view you want. Me, I like to see a wider view and I like to see right where my track is. Okay, this machine has a very heavy guard system for the, for the uh, windshield. Uh, but when you want to clean, all you have to do is take these, take a screwdriver, loosen up these two bolts and the whole guard comes up on cylinders and stays up so you can wash the window clean the window it also has window washing fluid on board so you can actually squirt it on the window it also has an air knife uh, windshield cleaning system which is one of the buttons on the console which i'll show you inside you got a place to keep your coffee hot and keep your lunch cold right here in the cabin with you So this cab is very comfortable. As I pointed out when I was getting in, you've actually got a cooler here to keep your lunch cold and you got a place here for your, your coffee cups. Yeah, that's a really handy feature to have in it. It has a first aid kit back here if you happen to need one. Fuse boxes back here with all the fuses. If you uh, can video over here, you will see this is the backup mirrors. These are the cameras for the mirrors and so you can get an idea of what you can see. So there's the right side, there's my track right there. There's the back of the machine right there and same thing over here. So I got it in one place. I think that's going to be a really handy tool once I get used to using it. And that's those two cameras and the mirrors outside there. Um, air conditioning is really strong in these machines. This, this one will freeze you out in a, in a, on a hot day. Um, you can have a footrest that you can adjust to different positions. I'm a little bit tall, so I fit in here just fine. The seat is a heated seat. And it's got various adjustments just like the seat in a jet airplane for your comfort. Um, it's got a windscreen that comes down or actually a sunscreen that comes down so if you are working and you're getting too much sun in your eyes or too hot you can pull the screen down and shade and still see through it. So this, this machine is equipped with an escape hatch on the top so if you have to get out you can pop the latch and the hatch opens up. This is all really nicely padded. If you notice, this is like the inside of a really nice uh, a luxury vehicle up here. Uh, but that's the way to get out of the machine. Somebody pointed out that it is not a sunroof. Just saying. Um, AC controls up above your head. 
Over here we have this panel that you saw whenever we were doing the earlier, earlier video. There's lights in here. You have LED lights inside the engine compartment. You have four LED lights on the outside of the machine so you can work all night and you can work on the machine at night. It's very, very uh, well lit. Um, this has another feature that I want to point out again. It was pointed out earlier. The door flap on this machine actually has the capability of being automatically returned. So on these mulchers, when you push the push guard forward, the door, the door goes down with them. But if they're manual, the door stays down, the push guard comes up. And if you're in a bunch of brush or you're not necessarily paying attention or whatever, you can have the door down and you can run into a log or a stump or something and you can actually cave the door in. That's about $7,000 for that door. So there's a button you can turn on right here on the console, number 12, you push the button and then the door automatically turns. So when the brush guard goes down, the door goes down with it. When the brush guard comes up, the door comes up with it. So it's always out of your way. A couple of other features I want to point out with this equipment is this machine has load sense on the traction. So that gives you the ability to, to sit here and say, okay, I'm gonna turn on load sense and I'm pushing through a bunch of brush or a bunch of heavy material, whatever I'm pushing through, the tractor will sense how much pressure is being put back on that head, how much torque is being put on that head, and it'll actually slow the traction down. So you can have the, you can have the thing full speed and it'll slow itself down and speed itself up according to how much pressure is being put on the head. So that gets your work done more efficiently, keeps you from banging the tractor up, helps new operators get used to how it feels to be in certain kinds of material. Um, I use it quite a lot on the big Raptor 500s, especially when I'm grinding rock and things like that. This also has float, so you can actually hit the button when you're going to back up pass and the head will drop down on the ground. It's got a, a lever on the back, so you can adjust the pressure on the ground with that head from a very light pressure if you just want to kind of graze the ground as you're doing your cleaning up pass, or you can have it pushing down pretty hard on the ground and going with the contour of the land and actually digging in the dirt a little bit. So once again, Thank you for spending some time with us this afternoon here at NED. You can make NED your one-stop shop for any equipment that you need. We not only have the forestry mulching equipment, we've got everything dirt, about everything you can imagine. You can reach me at 843-412-3475. I'm the forestry mulching specialist. I'm John Flournoy, and we also rent this equipment. So if you need something for a short period of time, give us a call. We'll arrange a rental for whatever fits your needs. Thank you so much.